enter David O'Keefe's gallery and you're greeted by familiar faces with a twist. Explain your style for us. Good question. The style is the only style I know how to do. It is what I was born with. And I would say, you know, all artists doodle at an early age. Mine started at five. And it's basically, I can pull out some of the things that I did when I was five and stuff that my parents kept. And it looks basically the same as it is now. I love to stretch faces to do things in a different look. That childhood hobby turned into a successful career. What was the turning point? Turning point to me was Sports Illustrated. And I did a cover for them in 97. And it was of uh, Peyton Manning wrestling an alligator. And uh, that's when the floodgates opened and really uh, broke into freelance editorial illustration. It's obvious David loves movies, TV, sports, and music. You paint what you know. And uh, my stuff is more man cave kind of things where, you know, I like the gangster movies. Um, and, you know, so you try to draw on that. And it's not something that really takes a stretch of imagination because I've seen these movies so many times and television shows like Seinfeld. So I know I'm front and back. So when I'm doing it, it's almost like an extension of myself. Not content with just two-dimensional creations, David enjoys sculpting as well. Hey, it's Simon and Garfunkel, Mel Brooks, and Sarah Palin. You've got a really incredible sculpture of Phil Mickelson. Have you heard yet how he feels about that sculpture? Because I know he has seen it. Yes, he has seen it. Um, we did actually, that was for an assignment for Golf Digest magazine. And uh, he, uh, apparently, I'm not sure what he said, but it, a friend of his brought it to him and showed it to him. You'll find singer Aretha Franklin, comedian Lucille Ball, and actress Marilyn Monroe on the walls. But David says painting women in his style is tough. Nicole Kidman was, a, was somebody I really wanted to do, but she's so beautiful and she's so, you know, elegant. I wasn't sure how to do it, so I kind of ex made things stretched and everything, but I kept that beauty. How do people react when they come into this gallery? I, the way I, I want them to, and there's a lot of laughing, there's a lot of fun, and there's people that are really respond well to it. Now, they don't respond to everything, but if they're like, see the Golden Girls, and they've been touched by Golden Girls in their life, then they, they feel that connection with that painting. What's the biggest seller? Our biggest seller is still Caddyshack. Caddyshack has got to be the one that guys that golf have to have it. And Bill Murray himself has the bust that you made of him, he, or he the, has a painting of him? Well, they actually have the bust out there in, um, in St. Augustine where the Caddyshack restaurant is, but Bill Murray also has paintings hanging in his house. Who would you like to do that you haven't painted yet? Wow, that's a good question. Um, I, you know, it's hard to say because every time I do one, like De Niro was one I always wanted to do, um, then you go, oh, I haven't done this guy, or I haven't done uh, Gilligan's Island, or, you know, there's just so many pop culture icons that I don't even know if I'm ever going to get to them all. If you had to do a painting of me right now, <laughs> what do you think you would really home in on? Well, we go back to the girls versus the guys. The girls are hard, because it's really hard pulling out something that's extreme when there's beauty involved. And beauty is tough. And that's why I've <laughs> never painted my wife, and I'll probably never paint you. <laughs> Good answer. David O'Keefe, pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Good luck with everything. Thanks.